From Langston, Oklahoma, this is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good afternoon, I'm Joey McWilliams here on the campus of Langston University. The Lions are getting ready to host the season opener in football and there is some activity behind me right now. Mid-American Nazarene's just gotten off the bus. The guys from Olathe, Kansas will be here and we are set for what I believe will be a great football game. In the meantime, let's get things kicked off. Football in the NAI started today. We'll give you a couple of scores here in just a moment. One mild upset and then a back and forth game in Atchison, Kansas, a game that we figured might be one of the best games of the day and it looks to have been just that. I, however, get to visit with somebody from Langston because my trips up here are always special and I have a special gentleman with me right now. So, uh, Kevin Herod, the women's basketball coach. I appreciate you stopping by here with us on Midwest Sports Saturday. No, absolutely, Joy. I'm, it's a pleasure to be here. Okay, let's. I, I've been watching you guys online too. Let's go ahead and start right there. Basketball season a little ways off, and we'll talk about your schedule in just a moment. But uh, your social media game's pretty strong. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know what? I, you know, it wouldn't be strong if it wasn't for the ladies. You know, so they do a great job. The preseason has been going very well, um, and they work hard. So. Uh, all I do have to do is our social media team. All they have to do is just turn on the camera and press record, and they make they make the magic. And they get it done. By the way, today's broadcast is brought to us by Elite Medical Billing Specialists, longtime friends of the channel, and uh, one of our, our favorite sponsors. We appreciate the folks there. They'll help keep your business in rhythm. We have the link in the comments section. So our uh, not the comment section. Link is in the description. Excuse me. We may put it in the comment section now, yeah. just because that'll be all right. <laughs> Coach Herod, your second season here in Langston, and talk a little bit first off about what it means to be up here. It's a, it's a great campus. Well, uh, Joey, I just to tell you, it's very, very special. Um, even when I when I first got here, uh, when I got on the campus, um, it felt like home. Um, everybody welcomed me, um, not just uh, co-workers and employees, but the community, um, which I think is just as important. Um, but beautiful campus. Great student uh, environment here, uh, the energy here well, on Monday through Friday, even on Saturday, is it, amazing. So it's, it's definitely a blessing to be here. Yeah, I was here last year for homecoming. Uh, that was the last time that we, we did a show up here, and uh, it's, it's fantastic. It's, it's electric, and, and I'm, I hope you back me up on this one. It literally shuts down the town to have homecoming and have all the people that are up here because, I mean, you almost had this – this stadium itself is almost bigger than the rest of the town combined. <laughs> yes, I mean, a absolutely, Joy. I mean, the the electricity, I mean, if you're, I look at it like, you better be three steps ahead on, on getting whatever you need to get in Guthrie or wherever <laughs> you're getting, Walmart, everything is because it's just so many people, so many fans, um, and homecoming here is like no other. So it's an amazing time for the for the college, for the, for the um, community as well. 17 and 13 last season, your first season as the head coach here, not your first uh, season as a head coach as you came to Langston by way of Tala uh, Tal Talladega. Uh, yes. Tahlequah is in Oklahoma. By way of Talladega most recently, and so that's how, how you, you got to this point. Talk a little bit about 22, 23 and, and uh, that season here. Absolutely. Um, I think for us um, and with our staff and, and what I had talked to A.D. Rogers about was really just establishing you know, a, a, a higher standard, a high expectation of what we were looking for. We wanted to do something different. Um, we um, really want to get out in the community as well, um, especially with all the high schools um, was a big, a big part of that. Um, and again, just wanted everybody to know like, hey, we're here. Um, things will be uh, much different as far as like how we move going forward. And we didn't just want to be competitive. We really wanted to make sure that, that we, we put our put our foot um, really on the door of not going to do something great in the first year, so the second year was going to be even better for us. Well, the first year, I mean, winning record, I, I you know, I don't, I don't know how you see all of those things, but from an <laughs> outsider's perspective, to come in, a new place, a new team, new faces all the way around, to come out with a winning record and winning season, it has to be a positive, though, right, just from that. No, a absolutely, and again, I, you know, I think it has a lot to do with the support that you have, um, administration, um, A.D. Rogers, um, assistant A.D. Uh, uh, Kinslow have uh, been phenomenal, the coaches that are here, um, you know, uh, Coach Wright on the men's side has is, is been um, a great friend, another uh, amazing person that I can always uh, count on. So uh, bump basketball heads with. Uh, but no, um, I think those things really, really help. And again, 
um, on top of it, you know, I had a you know great you know support system as as, as far as um, our team was. I mean, they really dug in. They really committed to what you know the expectations were. Um, and maybe we might have fell a little short, but at the same time, um, it really did establish what we're doing here. I, you know, I, we've had Coach Wright on, on the channel more than once, mm -hmm. and we appreciate him. And, and you, you talked about Coach Rogers, and she's just a fantastic athletic director. What is happening here at Langston and what has happened under her direction, I think, is, is just really something to speak about. And I think it says a lot about the, the program and the university itself, too. Coach, you talked about the, the atmosphere in Langston itself. Of course, we were talking about homecoming here on Midwest Sports Net, by the way. Thanks for watching on, on Midwest Sports Saturday. But the gym, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a nice place to, to watch a basketball game, but to host one. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, I mean, I think it's something that everybody, if you're a Langston fan or even not a Langston fan, you're, you're just interested about uh, what an HBCU game is like or a basketball game is like here at Langston. Um, it's, it's electric. It's amazing. Uh, the crowd is into it for 40 minutes. <laughs> even the timeouts, they're into it. So um, it's electric. And again, um, it's something you, you won't forget if you come to the games. No, there's no question about that. <laughs> Everything is, and it's done so well, though. That, that, that's yes. the thing, too. I mean, it's an exciting atmosphere, but it's done well. Game day operations, um, again, you know, Miss Kinslow does a, our assistant AD does a phenomenal job in making sure those things are, are put together very well. Um, and again, you have play by play, live streaming. So, I mean, that's just, that's great for, uh, you know, parents that get to watch that are not from you know they're not here that can't get to a game so i think overall you know it's just a, it's an amazing event i want to give a shout out to the sports information director kyle taylor too, absolutely and rogers for always letting me come up here and get to be a part and, and a part of the activity so let's talk about this year's team 23 24 not that far away i, I was <laughs> mentioning the, the social media game being strong i've seen on at least on video. I wasn't up doing the things y'all are doing at five in the morning. <laughs> and y'all y'all are out and about just getting it done. Talk talk about this team. Um, well we have we have uh, eight returners that are coming back, um, five seniors, um, and then we brought in uh, six new uh, new uh, student athletes that we're very, very proud of, very excited about. Um, what you see on video, um, I cannot take all the credit for. We have an amazing, amazing strength and conditioning um, coach, head coach here. Um, uh, his name is Markel Williams, Coach Markel Williams. Um, we sat down, put a great plan together for what we want to achieve in um, our preseason. And the girls, um, ladies, they committed to it. And it's been really rolling since. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm just very, very proud of them. The leadership um, from our captains, um, right on down to the new people. They're just trying to, they're just trying to learn um, and fit in. So, um, so far it's been, it's been extremely positive. We're looking forward to some big things. Season gets underway on the road in late October. And yes. two or three events there, you come back home in November. Can you tell us just a little bit about season and how it opens? Yes, so uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be playing against Oklahoma Wesleyan on October 27th. Um, then we'll go away to, uh, to we'll be in Kansas. Uh, that will be November 3rd and 4th in the uh, Coyote Classic. Uh, uh, host that is uh, uh, Bethany College, so we're looking forward to that. Um, great basketball in Kansas. Um, then we'll, our first home game will be November 9th um, against Ava uh, uh, Maria University, which they're a good team out of Florida. So um, we, um, we're, we're, we definitely have a very good schedule. Um, there isn't anyone on there that is, that's light, <laughs> um, but we did that on purpose because we wanted to play great competition because, you know, uh, the Sooner Athletic Conference is tough. It's a very, very tough conference, and we want to be prepared for it. I wanted to mention that, too. I mean, you're playing in a, in a conference that's not a slouch conference by any stretch of the imagination. No. I mean, to get through that that run once you get to the league portion of the schedule, is that, that, that's going to be a tough run, Coach. But yeah. you, you've, you've seen it now. Once. Absolutely. When you have four or five teams that are ranked in the country in your conference, that just goes to show you that I mean, on any given night, I mean, every single night you have to come to play. Um, you have to be mentally focused and prepared to play. All right, Coach Kevin Harrod, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, Joey. For stopping by today. I really appreciate, appreciate you. that. You know, football is about to happen behind us, too. Any, any comments about that? Well, I can tell you this, just watching the guys, uh, Coach Morgan has done a phenomenal job in his staff, um, and I'm just looking forward, forward to a great game just like everyone else is. All right.
All right, well, I'll, I'll let you get back and, and get ready to watch some games. We're going to continue talking here on, on Midwest Sports Saturday. I'll, I can take that oh, mic then go. And, and go from there. Coach Kevin here, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. And we're going to get to hear from one more guest here on this Saturday here in just a moment. And uh, whenever uh, that coach comes over, hopefully he'll just get to come up here and take the microphone and go from there. A wonderful Saturday afternoon here. Now, a couple of things, too, about even this particular setup. And you, you might notice we're in the shade right now. That is by design. Lots of times I like to get out in the sun. I know it already has sunscreen on it, so just in case you were concerned about that, any at all. But it's taken care of at the moment, though. Um, we're in the shade by design because it has been so amazingly hot lately and we've been concerned about the equipment we want the equipment to continue to broadcast so far into this one our equipment hasn't shut down so we're really glad about that I actually have one of the uh, technical support with the fan blowing on the equipment right now so we're trying to keep that all in place but it's a beautiful beautiful set behind me as you can see the activity back there Langston and Mid-American Nazarene getting ready to get things started there on the field so we'll get to visit with one more coach here in just a moment uh, scores, I mentioned a couple of them right off the bat. Thursday night, the battle for the paint bucket. Valley City State comes away with the victory, 23-15 Jamestown. Uh, comes up a little bit short and playing those tough games right down to the wire. It's what they did last year, and they're going to do it again this year. I was wondering if I was going to get one more coach in here. We'll get him here in just a moment. The Valley City State coming away with the eight point victory, coming from behind a strong second half, Avery Thoris guard with a couple of touchdown passes and that really sealed the deal as it came through. Then scores from today and a couple of those really, really quickly. And we have a, quite a slate of NAI football here in week zero. That really is uh, something that the spotlight, okay, division one's gonna get some of the spotlight right now, but the spotlight as far as small college is concerned, not playing this weekend and they'll get things going on a Thursday night but it's uh, all about NAIA tonight so we have a list of a few games a couple of games that are already in the book St. Thomas just absolutely took out their aggressions for not making it into the field of field of the playoffs uh, with a season opening win over Fort Lauderdale 70 to 14 the Bobcats and coach Reichel's team is 1-0 uh, and now and putting themselves into a good position to be in that expanded playoff field now just in case you haven't heard that already the field is not going to be 16 teams in the NAIA championship series in 2023 no it's going to be 20 teams so four more teams with an opportunity and so teams like the two teams that are going to play here tonight that have been close in recent years maybe that's that opportunity to take the step up or a field like uh, a, a team like St. Thomas Nine and two in 2022, nine and two in 2021, didn't make the playoffs in either year. Now, all right, <laughs> uh, I, I love the photo bombing. That makes it that makes it fun. So, a team like St. Thomas definitely coming in and making its presence known. 70 to 14 over the Eagles of Fort Lauderdale. Another final score, and this could be a little bit of an upset. And I think if you're looking at last year's record and you're looking at uh, what both of these teams had coming in. Coach, go ahead, come on in here, please. Uh, what both these teams coming in, let me just give this score really quickly. Uh, MSU Northern, 14, Mayville State, zero. Now, as uh, Coach steps in really quickly, and I don't know if you know any of the scores that are going on, I'll, I'll drop that one there rather quickly. MSU Northern, 14, Mayville State, zero. MSU Northern, the Lights scored a grand total of 24 points all season last year. Dead last in the NAI in offense. Already have more than 50% of their point total from last year. So, and to come away with the win too, as they were 0 and 0 and 10, I believe. So, um. that's that's awesome. It's uh, <laughs> it's also too when you you have what eight months prepare. It's good. It's good to see that when that happens. So it really is. I am blessed now. By the way, let me shake your hand. Yeah, Coach Paul yeah. Hansen. Yeah. We have visited two or three times in the last couple of years. My first time, this literally is my first time to get to see him face to face. So I'm so thankful you came one with me today. Well, good. well thanks for coming out tonight and uh, get to see some heart football tonight and some right. Sooner, uh, Sooner Conference football. So it'll be a good matchup. This, you know, let's talk about that. This, it's a non conference game. I know it, it was added a little bit later on, which I think may have something to do with why it's a little bit quieter behind us right now. And, and I don't know if you've noticed this or not, Coach, but the band. 
is not behind us right now. Did you know that was going to happen? I, 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 I do. I coached in this conference uh, for two years and uh, while I was down at SAGU, so I knew that this would be a great environment for our guys to come down and be a great test for us to come down here. And, and really, it's not far from Kansas City at all. And yeah. we have a lot of alumni down here, so they're doing a big tailgate tonight. So it's good for, for everybody. Okay. Well, you, you, this band makes a big deal, and it's actually in Houston. The, the, the Lion Band is not going to be in here tonight. So that's really, that's going to, I don't know if that affects, well, I think you're going to have a good atmosphere anyway. Yeah, right? yeah. But, it, but it is a factor. So that's something. All right, Coach, you've made it through uh, camp. And I, we had a chance to visit, I, was, I think it was two and a half months ago when we visited the last time. So talk a little bit about camp and, and uh, what that was like. Uh, I'm sure hot. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, really this last week, I mean, we went, we practiced in the morning uh, before school. And so, I mean, it felt like we were still in camp, really. But, uh, you know, it's been, a, it's been a great camp. Our guys have competed really well. And, uh, and really, the no most important thing is we're healthy. You know, coming into uh, the first game, you want to be as healthy as you can be, and we are. And so uh, we just got to keep that momentum because it's a long season. That actually, that was very much my next question because I know that you all dealt with some injuries last year. Um, including Adrian Parsons. Yeah, yeah. So well, talk about that. Yeah, I mean, uh, hopefully uh, last year we made up for injuries for like three years because we had a ton <laughs> last year. So, no, kind of kind of coming in this year, we knew that, you know, we wanted to have some more depth, and we did a good job recruiting and, and getting depth in some key positions. That way, if we did have an injury or so, that the next guy up wasn't a far drop off. So that's something that our coaching staff and th that we did, so it was really good. Okay, I, I, I won't ask for state secrets here two hours for a ball game. So yeah. I, I promise I won't. However, I, I, this one may not be a state secret. Uh, Parsons, he had the lead going into camp. I know there were some other quarterbacks coming in. Will we see him tonight? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's uh, he's one of our leaders. He's our pack leader. He's a captain. You know, he's he's, he's now played for two seasons, and now this is junior year. And I, I really believe you go in your third season. That's kind of the year you see a lot of kids kind of take off. And so he's had a really good camp, and uh, really kind of excited to see him uh, take off tonight. It'll be pretty good. Some heart teams had some pretty good results today. I know it went back and forth. Uh, one score that was the final. Morningside did go ahead and pull that out over Benedictine. Uh, Graceland opened things up today. Let me ask you really quickly. When you get into this part of the schedule, and it's, it is a non-conference game, you're used to certain things from your conferences. And, and honestly, conferences have their own personalities. They really do. What's it like to prepare for a non-conference game like this? Is it good to have the eight months? Well, it's really good because, you know, uh, we, we believe the Hearts one of the toughest conferences. And so this is the first year that we've all kind of gone to week zero where we don't play someone in conference. So now we've been able to go out and schedule other teams because you know, we beat up on each other during the season, you know, and, and uh, it's, it's really good to kind of go see someone else and kind of see where you're at as a team before you get into uh, conference. You know, next week we play Grandview, which is an unbelievable team. So this is a good opportunity for us to kind of see, hey, where we're at and kind of going into that, that first game versus the North uh, and see what we got to fix before we get into that. Well, just like that, it, it happens. We're visiting with Coach Paul Hansen from Mid American Nazarene here on Midwest Sports Saturday on the Midwest Sports Channel. And by the way, today's broadcast is sponsored by Elite Medical Billing Specialists. Let them help keep your business in rhythm. And you can learn a little bit more about them as the link is in the description. And we said a little earlier, I said it was going to be in the comments. So I'm going to make sure the link's in the comments, too, when we're all said and done here. Uh, Coach, then for this evening, uh, as, as you, you look around, you, you see what Langston brings to the table. And, and uh, this is a strong Langston team, not just you know, within the last couple of years, but just historically, I mean, this is a very strong put football program. Yeah, and, and uh, I've never really lo looked at Langston and thought they weren't strong. So uh, I, I felt like just us scheduling them and coming down here to play them would be a good test for us. And really, you know, the, you know, everyone kind of recognizes that Langston's a great opponent, so we could come down here and compete well. Maybe that'll help us out uh, as we go on through the season, and, and so that'll be really good. A couple of questions, and let me, let me follow up. That. It's a scheduling question, and, and uh, I... Are, are you responsible for the scheduling? Just have to ask. Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I have to ask sometimes because sometimes yeah. you well, I, I, we talk to a coach and we look at a, a brutal schedule and go, who did this? Yeah, uh, so yeah. Oh, you're, yeah, you're for responsible sure. For yeah. That. Well, number one, then, 
it is a great regional matchup. Yeah. You didn't have to travel too far down the road yeah. to, to get this matchup. Does, is something like that factor in to where, hey, listen, we're not trying to set something up with somebody back east? Yeah, yeah, I think it's it, it just needs to make sense for everybody. And, and for us, this made sense not far from Kansas City. Like I said, a lot of alumni are in this area, so we could get some alumni, alumni out, and especially with us about to start digging our brand-new stadium here in a couple couple weeks, you know, getting, those, getting everyone excited about that. So that's pretty cool to kind of come down here and get everyone real excited about Pioneer football for this fall. All right, then the other question about scheduling is this, and, and it comes to – where things are in the playoffs okay uh, first you guys have been close especially last year I mean you're you're really playing for something yeah. final game of the season yeah. and and you've done played for something the last couple of years yeah expanded playoff field this year I yeah. think that that hopefully opens things up for a lot of people I mean it's, it's four spots but that's an extra 25 percent yeah right well, there yeah. but but the other thing is you, you you play that hard schedule it's a tough schedule but you're beating one another up like yeah. you mentioned is it good to be able to play an opponent, a quality opponent no less, yeah. than to have that on the resume, win, lose, or draw, but you, you've got that out there so people see something beyond just the inner fighting within the league. Yeah, well, and you saw today how good Benedictine is, right? And yeah. then next we see Grandview, and there's some other great teams in our conference. So if we could come in and, and you know represent our conference well tonight and kind of get on a little roll here, that would be really good for our conference. And really with us adding William Woods and St. Ambrose in the next mm -hmm. year, we're going to be we're going to be 14 uh, teams in our conference. So we're going to actually be the, the, the biggest conference mm -hmm. in the country. Country. And so uh, there's other good teams in our conference that, you know, I think at some point we got to start looking at the heart. Hey, uh, maybe three, four teams in the playoffs each year with expanded uh, for, for how good the, the, the play has been. And by the way, this is a, it's a programming note, but not a definite time. We will get to have Commissioner Thomas on that. That's a done deal. We're going to get to have Commissioner Thomas on the program sometime very soon. So I'm sure we'll talk about that, too. And when I visited with her earlier, even about, you know, coming on with me, that was one of the things that, that she said first. Well, you know, we're, we're about to be the biggest football conference in the NAI. And, that, and, and again, quality teams in there too oh yeah for sure I mean you, you just look at it and every week you don't really get like a bye week <laughs> you know what I mean you got to prepare and we'll get back late tonight and then we'll start getting ready for Grandview next week so it's just kind of it's just kind of how it is in the heart uh, you know I coached down the Lone Star Conference for a while in uh, Division 2 it was the same way in that conference there's just so many good teams and uh, it, it's cool too to see how how much success the heart has had and in playing other teams so it's pretty good all right coach one last question again thank you so much for taking time with us on game day season opening game day no less and you're on the road so I really am glad that that you came over here I talk about what we may see tonight from from the pioneers I you know I know you know what's on the scouting there and of course season opening for the Lions too so it's anybody's guess for either one of these yeah what, what are we looking for tonight from from your team yeah you know so like last Thursday night we scrimmaged Ottawa right down the road from us so we kind of had a like a preview of kind of where we were at as a team so we got some things fixed but I think tonight you're gonna see a team one that plays really fast we got we got some fast guys and we you know we kind of recruited a track team on offense that we've tried to do so you'll see we have some speed and I think you'll notice too like uh, Adrian Parsons you'll notice hey he's he's definitely a junior you can tell he's played now and you'll see you'll like what you see out of that and defensively you'll see some uh, we have a couple key transfers that's came in that uh, you'll you'll notice pretty pretty fast of how, how fast they are and some of the plays they make so um, really I think that for all three phases of, of the game, you'll definitely see a team that's one we've been coached right, and uh, but also a team that's kind of determined uh, going into this year. And uh, a lot of these guys were are sophomores and juniors, so they came in with me, and so now they kind of know what to expect. They know what uh, what we want here in Mid America in, in uh, championship football, and so that's what we're going to try to play tonight. That's year four, isn't it? Year four, year yep. Four. Season four. All yep. right. So. Yep. That's, that sounds like fun. Yep. Well, Coach Paul Hansen, thank you again, sir, so awesome. much. Thank Look you. Look forward to, thank you guys to coming you out. all and watch the Lions tonight. Appreciate so, it. Thank you for being all right. here. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Kickoff is set for 7-15 tonight, and that's, uh, that's another reason why uh, we've had a little bit of delayed start on, on when we're doing all of our activity here. We're going to start, and I think I mentioned all week long on, on the broadcast back of the studio, talking about volleyball and football throughout the course of the week that we were going to do at 4 o'clock. Well, they moved things back, and, and honestly, it's the best thing. It really, really is because it's just been so brutally hot. And I don't know from where you're watching this video right now, but as it, it is hot. Oh, my goodness, it's hot. It's just been that here. And uh, fortunately, today, there's been a bit of a north breeze. There is, is a front that is coming in. It's not going to, you know, bring 
icicles or inclement weather like that, but it may feel like it after you know 110 degrees, literally that driving up to the stadium today. So we're in the shade and I believe we're gonna be able to get the entire broadcast out. So thanks to Jolie McWilliams for being a part of the broadcast today and keeping the fan on the equipment there. Also wanna say thanks to Coach Kevin Herod. Thanks to Coach Paul Hansen for being with me. I, I mentioned these scores, so let me, let me give you these again really quickly. We said Valley City State 23-15 over Jamestown. St. Thomas victors today over Fort Lauderdale 70-14. Weber International 35-7 over St. Andrews today. And I know that's a bit of a sister school thing going on. Don't have the final from Bluefield and Florida Memorial. We'll try to get that to you tonight after the, the conclusion of this game here. And Bluefield was up. 43-27, Florida Memorial, the Lions are coming back and have come back. It was 43-40 with the last score that we had. That was in the fourth quarter. I mentioned MSU Northern, 14-0 over Mayville State. Mild upset there, congratulations to Coach Sowers team for not only putting points on the board, but for getting the victory, and that's the first victory in the Sowers era right there. Morningside coming back to defeat Benedict in 2017, the final there, and we did have a halftime score, and if you're concerned at all about Cade Ross to Gerald Monroe, don't be. Four touchdown connections in the first half. It was Graceland all over Doan at home. Coach Ross's team is starting out the right way. I think Graceland is a team to watch. Lots of other games that are on tap today, and we'll get a few more of those to you tonight. So let's go ahead and sign off right now, and I want to say thanks to Elite Medical Billing Specialist they can keep your business in rhythm. Check them out, what they can do for you. You can do so many different things. The link is in the description, will be in the comments section as well before the day is over with. So I want to uh, give a shout out again to Coach Paul Hansen and thank him for being a part of the broadcast today as well as Coach Kevin Herod. We want to be a part of a Langston basketball broadcast too. So Midwest Sports Saturday make its way right over there. If you can see where I'm pointing, okay, it's behind bleachers and it's over there I guess it's it's that way so we'll, we'll be over there in the gym sometime really soon I want to say thanks to those guys thank you for watching and please continue to enjoy the videos here on Midwest Sports Net we love talking about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond and getting that subscription getting those likes getting those shares it really does help so uh, thank you very much for that God bless you all have a great day we will have more video over the course of the night so keep it right here